In this video, let's take a look at a few more basic prop types. I'm going to continue our work on the greet component from the previous video. For our next step, let's convert the number of unread messages into a prop. In greet props, I'm going to add a new key, message count, and set this to a number. When I do this, we see a red flag in our app component. If you hover on the red squiggly line, TypeScript is telling us that message count is missing as a prop. Please add it. So now, if I just type the letter M, autocomplete to the rescue because of TypeScript. So message count, and let's set it to 20. Back in greet component, we can render props dot, and you can see the autocomplete once again helping us message count. So this is an example of the number type. Next, let's take a look at a Boolean type. We want the text welcome guest to be displayed if the user is not logged in. If the user is logged in, we display the name and the message count. So to the greet props, add a new key. Is logged in and set this to the type boolean. In app.tsx, add is logged in is equal to false. Back in the greet component, we can now use the is logged in prop with the ternary operator. So props dot is logged in. We render the name and message count. Else we display the text. Welcome guest. If we take a look at the browser, we should see welcome guest. So this is an example of the Boolean type. Let's quickly take a look at two more types. For our next component, let's look at the person component which I've created beforehand. It's a very simple component that returns the text Bruce Wayne, which is first name followed by last name. Instead of the name being hard coded, I want a name object to be passed in as props. And the name object should contain first and last as properties. Let's see how to do that. In app.tsx, I'm going to import and invoke the person component. I'm going to create a new object called person name with first and last as the two properties. I'm going to pass in name as a prop and set it to person name. TypeScript is going to complain we haven't specified the component prop type. So back in person.tsx, let's define the type at the top. Type person props. This is always an object. We have one prop called name, which is in turn an object. The object contains first and last as keys which are of type string. We can now add props within parentheses and specify the type person props. In the JSX, we render props.name.first followed by props.name.last. TypeScript is now happy. I'm not going to go to the browser as TypeScript doesn't really affect what we see in the browser. TypeScript is for VS Code, so as long as we don't see any errors, we are good. So this is about typing an object prop. Next, let's take a look at typing an array. For this example, let's take a look at the person list component, which again, I have created beforehand. Within the component, we have a list of three names. 
instead of hard coding it, let's pass them in as props. In app.tsx, I'm going to copy paste an array of three objects, each containing first and last as properties. So const name list is an array of three objects and each object contains first and last as properties. Next, I'm going to import and invoke the person list component and pass in names as a prop which is equal to the name list array. TypeScript is complaining, so let's fix that. In person list.tsx, at the top, we define the prop type. So type person list props, and it has one key called names, which is an array of objects. The way we specify that is object literal followed by square brackets. But this object itself has a structure. We have first as a property, which is of type string, and last as a property, which is once again a string. We can now make use of props. So within parentheses, props of type person list props. And within the JSX, we can now type props dot names dot map. And we get access to each name object in the array. TypeScript is smart enough to infer the type of the individual name object. So when returning, if I type name dot, you can see it suggests first or last. Let's return them both name dot first and name dot last. We also need the key prop, so let's set it to name dot first. Our TypeScript error has also disappeared. So this is how you work with an array, or to be more precise, an array of objects in our case. Of course, you could have an array of strings, numbers, etc., but this is pretty much how you do it. To recollect, we worked with the number type, the Boolean type, objects, and arrays. Some of the more simpler props that you tend to pass into a component. In the next video, let's take a look at a few advanced examples. Advanced, of course, from a beginner's perspective. I'll see you in the next one.